Hey guys, in this video we're going to create uh, a pop-up model in Adobe XD. So the first thing that we're going to do is to um, create uh, a overlay in the background. So let's go over here and uh, create this rectangle. And um, I'm gonna make it uh, a little bit on the darker side. So probably something around this. Uh, and um, it's great to note that uh, if you actually have uh, a website uh, behind it, uh, you can uh, use the uh, background blur in order to blur it out. And um, this is something that you see quite often in uh, websites and um, when opening pop-ups and models. And um, yeah, this is something that uh, it's, uh, it's pretty common. So let's duplicate this. So there's a few ways we can do this. I simply use Ctrl C and Ctrl V so that uh, as you can see on the left uh, in uh, the layers panel, we have uh, another rectangle on top. And uh, now I basically shrinked it and um, I did so by pressing both Shift and Alt. And uh, what, that, what this does, uh, it's basically, it uh, allows you to resize it, but maintaining the same ratio. So after doing this, I'm gonna change uh, the color to white and uh, let's uh, add uh, just a little bit of a shadow. I think that I'm going to do, uh, have a little bit of more blur and um, it's barely, barely noticeable, but I think it's fine. I don't want to, I usually in pop-ups, I don't want to like overdo it um, unless in some specific cases, but yeah, that's, uh, that's that. And uh, let's add some text. So this is going to be the title of the pop-up. And uh, let's uh, position this uh, uh, just over here. Uh, I'm also going to change the um, the thickness and uh, the font. Uh, I'm going to go for maybe a medium. And let's make this uh, color a little bit darker. And one more thing, I'm also going to add uh, a line which uh, will go all the way across the pop-up and um, this is going to allow us to divide the, uh, the section into two parts. And um, here we're just going to have some uh, Laura Ipsum text. And um, then let me go on uh, Safari and I'm going to open the Ipsum website. So uh, if, you, if you don't know it, it's uh, just lipsum.com. And uh, I'm just going to grab uh, some text over here and uh, paste it. Okay, so as you can see, it pasted all the way um, in a vertical uh, sense. So in order to uh, adjust this, one thing that you can do is to simply grab one of the angles on the left. And uh, actually, I don't think this is working. Um, let me let me redo this. So the the most easier way is to simply go on text and uh, just uh, create the selection already, and then just copying it. Um, that's actually something that I forgot about it uh, earlier. So yeah, there's um, that, that's basically the easiest way in order to avoid that uh, issue that we had earlier on. So let's make the text uh, just a little bit uh, smaller. And I'm also going to add uh, some uh, more vertical height uh, on text. Uh, and uh, probably it's going to have just a little bit of less opacity compared to the pop-up title. Let's also make this line a um, little bit less, uh, less big. And uh, here we go. Um, one more thing that we can do for this uh, uh, pop-up is uh, we can have uh, some uh, text in uh, a button. So that can be the call to action for uh, this uh, specific pop-up. So let's go over and make something around these lines. Probably going to have some uh, uh, rounded corners. Um, let's make, uh, yeah, we, we can go with something around these lines over here. So, Let's go four, four, and four. And uh, let's add some text over here. 
and uh, this is going to be the main call to action button so let's just right click here we'll make the text uh, a little bit bigger since it's the call to action and uh, we are also going to center it okay maybe just a little bit smaller the text and uh, I'm going to shrink this button just a little bit so that we don't have uh, um, a lot of uh, padding on, on the left uh, and on the right so let's, re let's put this one over here let's resize the whole box just a bit and uh, one more thing that uh, we can have uh, is um, a close icon and uh, for the close icon I'm going to go at uh, material.io slash tools slash icons and uh, these are the icons from uh, the Google Material Design team and um, these are some of the icons that uh, I like to use quite often because they're really good and uh, they're, they're also free and uh, very flexible so I'm just going to select the close and um, as you can see on the bottom left uh, you have the option to download it in SVG and uh, that's actually something that uh, I'm going to do right now and um, I encourage you to use the SVGs uh, um, because uh, this will allow you to have the uh, scalable vector graphics and uh, this is going to be pretty useful so let's uh, just uh, um, oh, okay I see what I did here uh, basically if you drag and drop it on top of uh, a layer um, the icon is going to literally um, go inside that layer so let's drag and drop it somewhere else uh, outside and as you can see we're not having this problem anymore so just a little bit of uh, common troubleshooting that uh, will happen uh, <laughs> eventually and um, yeah so this is it uh, we're also having the close icon so I'm going to make the opacity at uh, 25 and um, yeah I think we're pretty good to go for, for this one so hope you, you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial on how to make a, a pop-up and um, yeah i'll see you in the next one if you have uh, any question uh, regarding this uh, or adobe xd in general just let me know and uh, i will get back to you